at the moment, the most realistic uh, and close uh, approach uh, is simply a sort of uh, restoration of what is damaged and destroyed by cancer. In, uh, in many cases, except for medical therapies, but the majority of cases, uh, what is done is an extensive uh, surgery. And uh, in some cases, a big part of the bo body is removed, some important part of the body is removed because of surgery to remove the cancer and possibly surrounding tissues. What uh, the regenerative medicine can do for sure now is try to rebuild what was removed from the body with normal cells, trying to restore the quality of life of those patients. Because living with big damage, with alteration in uh, the face, in the function of the body, can be unpleasant after cancer. So try to restore the function. This is the most realistic. Then, of course, uh, I mean, science is open and we can try and uh, hopefully many other opportunities to be useful to the people. Well, from the point of view of science, I can imagine that uh, everything become possible. Because, uh, I mean, uh, everything not, but I mean, such amount of things that now we can even think because 20 years ago we couldn't imagine such big improvement that were uh, obtained uh, recently like induced pluripotent stem cell like uh, i mean standard treatment of for some some kind of pathology or gene therapy or i mean how can i say microRNA or i mean ma many kind of technology where absolutely far from our mind 20 years ago. So from the point of view of uh, science is really exciting. I mean, uh, to open that, uh, to increase our knowledge uh, would be wonderful, will be wonderful. From the point of view of the patient and of the application, it's more difficult to be defined because, uh, I mean, due to this new regulation and the, I mean, the cost of this kind of uh, improvement requested by uh, I mean, the new rules and the regulatory authorities mm -hmm. make everything very difficult. And the normal development of a therapy, when it is very successful, when there, are, there is no problem, when the people has a very clear idea, is between 10 and 12 years. So a new therapy, uh, if is the proof of principle uh, is given now, will be available for the patient later than uh, 10 years from now. So we cannot imagine uh, from the therapeutic point of view a big, big, big improvement, some improvement for sure, but not so much because, I mean, the time for developing this kind of treatment is very long. Now it's very long, unless we change, I mean, some rules or we understand some uh, faster track to have these uh, results.